All right, everybody. So uh, what I'm going to try to do in this video is to show you how to update from ProStyler Evo to Revolution. Revelation, sorry. <laughs> so uh, as you can see, this is my old skeleton site. So for those of you who have the skeleton template, you have probably seen the tutorial how to do that site. So this one is a local website, by the way, using Easy uh, WP local host. So hopefully everything will work out fine. Sometimes there's some little bugs updating locally with that too. So as you can see here, I'm still using 328. So the old ProStyler Evo. So let's try to update that and to see if it works fine. So of course, I'm going to click my update team, click that button. gonna take a while of course all right now it's done so if I return to the updates page I shouldn't have any update left so now if I go to my pro styler general settings and so on so some people might have different things here because some people need to log out and so on so it might be different from people to people what I always see is that big logo that is taking the entire page and if we go inside the tools we do have a convert content to pro style or rev here but uh, it was there since the beginning of Revelation, so I don't know if it still if it works fine looks like we can come back that to that later on and convert it to uh, ProStyler Re Revelation again later on if something goes wrong. But you should see that upgrade content button instead. And sometimes people click on it and it doesn't work at all. Or maybe you don't even see it. And as you can see, my save change is always kind of a looping. So nothing's going on. So most of the time what you need to do is simply to uh, go to the licensing and just revalidate your license. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to activate again. And let's click the upgrade content button and see if it works. And as you can see, it doesn't load the page. So usually clicking on save changes might work. And again, some people say that they need to log out. I don't think that I need to log out, but I might need to simply refresh my page. So I'm going to try to activate again. Now it has worked. And as you can see, now I'm back with the small logo. And now I have my new things, new live chat, new templates, and so on. So now I have my upgrade content right there instead. I think it's new to 4, 0, 2, and 3. So now I can click on upgrade content and as you can see now this should work. So now if I go back to that page and refresh. They are still have some buttons here because they are inside my uh, uh, revolution slider. But all the rest seems to be working fine. So here I have some overs that I have put manually myself with CSS. So probably there are some IDs that have been changed. So this is not necessarily uh, a problem that you're going to face. So the only thing that I can see so far is that my header here is not the right size. 
and that might be for another reason and of course my uh, buttons here since I created them uh, by copying and pasting some code uh, it didn't recognize it so I will have to rebuild my buttons but that's the only problem so uh, I'm going to try to see if I can simply uh, change them if it's possible or not well, I have a lot of messages here an older version um, So let's see. Buttons here. And the main difference is it has changed from WR to something else in ProStyler Revelation. Okay, I think it's ST if my memory is good. So I'm going to try to simply uh, edit that to change that to ST if it works. Some things have changed in revelation like for example the pricing table but I think these are the only things that I have changed so this one let's see if it works okay so one of them have changed though not necessarily identical at what it was previously. Uh, the other button is this one. So, no, this is the same one. So, I need to exit that one. And again, there might have, there might be some little things here and there that you need to change. Um, so probably the best thing in those cases is to simply redo them. Uh, it's not necessarily that long. I should have taken a look at, at uh, how they were, uh, uh, the look they had previously. But anyway, it's not a big deal. So overall, my website is working fine those buttons I can again like I said recreate them in Pro Styler and simply come and paste them well they seem to work here so they don't work they don't work fine here but as you can see they do work fine in the final output so just by changing my WR to ST underscore it uh, solves the issue the pricing table is something else because it has completely changed it's uh, it's a new version now it's pricing table version 2 so if you have pricing tables just make sure that you uh, modify them maybe or something like that or simply uh, do a print screen or something like that so that you can rebuild them the same way because they're going to be changed but all the rest shouldn't be working fine so I hope it was useful by the way if I go back here in my tools you will see that I always have the possibility to convert that again but usually everything should be fine right there but if you try to click that button without having the other one it might not work so make sure you click on the right button when you update and of course once done by the way it has deactivated the uh, plugin the pro styler builder but didn't delete it so you can always come and delete it you don't need that anymore right so hope this helps and if you have any issue you can always write on the Facebook page and we'll try to help you with that Thank you.